r slash malicious compliance. First story, pizza not spicy and well done enough for you? Alright then. So quite a number of years ago I worked at a large pizza chain. The one with the red roof. Every Tuesday evening a group of 12 people would come in to eat. Usually within 30 minutes of closing time. They would order one large vegetarian pizza with hot peppers and ask for the pizza to be well done. They would also ask for chilies on the side. You might think, okay, what is wrong with that? Well, a large pizza would be cut in 12 pieces. This group would come in, take up a large space, only have water, order the one pizza, each person would have one slice, leave a mess and not tip. They started asking for more hot peppers and complaining that the pizza wasn't spicy enough. They also started sending the pizza back to be cooked more. It was already pretty dark. Well, one day they sent the pizza back, but this time asked for it to be remade, not just cooked more. At this point it was 15 minutes to closing. I had cleaned everything and was pretty much finishing up my shift. Of course the manager has to appease the customers. So I start making them another pizza. They want it spicy? Let's give them spicy. I added a coating of chilies to the tomato sauce. Covered it with toppings and added lots of hot peppers. They want it well done? Fine, let's put it through the oven twice. It was a conveyor belt oven. Normally well done is put in the oven 1.5 times. This thing came out dark and just smelled spicy. I cut the pizza and give it to the waitress. I'm now waiting to get an earful after the customer complains. All prepared with my reasoning that I'm making what the customer asked for. I finish my shift and the manager calls me over. Turns out the customer did ask to speak to a manager. The customer said it was the best pizza they have had since they started coming and it was just how they wanted it. They asked if it could be made this way each week and left a nice tip. Edit. Wow. I did not think my story would get so many likes. And my first award. Thank you. For everyone wondering, yes the customers were Indian. For others asking why I didn't just say Pizza Hut. I always find it fun when others subtly describe the well known store slash brand. As for the tip, it was split between everyone. Second story. No one is above the rules, and I mean no one call me if he pulls rank. I used to work for a marketing company that serviced small and medium sized businesses across America. It was a multi-billion dollar revenue company. The CEO was a true rags to riches story. He joined the company right after he got out of jail in his early 20s for a small drug charge and worked his way up over 20 years to eventually become the CEO of the company. The CEO strongly believed that the success of the company did not come from the brilliant and intelligent minds that he hired for his executive team, but the hard work, sweat, and tears of the infield sales reps, service reps, made sure the customer services were properly installed, collection reps, chased after customers who fell behind on their payments, and sales managers. He would often say, without sales we don't have the revenue to pay your salaries. Without customer service customers will drop us faster than we can bill them. Without collection reps we'd lose too many accounts due to non-payment. And without sales managers, to hold it all together we'd fall apart. And he had a rule. Every single executive team member would spend one full week of each quarter in the field with a sales manager, customer service rep, collections rep, or sales rep. In addition when they are in the field they are to submit to whoever they've been assigned to, and they may not pull rank. This rule applied to everyone to include the CEO. I know this, cause the CEO personally rode along with me for 5 days in the field. He was a legit cool guy, I got a story at the end about this. So, apparently we had hired a new VP of marketing from a major brand that I'm sure everyone in this sub would know of. Anyway apparently the first time he went in the field the VP of marketing pulled rank on a sales manager and the sales manager reported this directly to the CEO. A new quarter went by and I got an email stating that the VP of marketing will be joining me in the field on such and such week. Okay cool, not the first time I had some higher up come out and ride with me. But about an hour later I got a call from my CEO. CEO, PJ the VP of marketing is going in the field with you. Me, yes sir, I got the email. CEO, PJ I picked you cause, when I was in the field with you, you seemed like the kinda guy that wouldn't be bullied or let someone run all over you. Me, okay, well thank you. 
CEO, this VP is new to the company, and the last time he went in the field he pulled rank. I've told him not to pull rank again, and if he does I want you to call me, as soon as you can. PJ, I understand. CEO, thank you. The VP meets me up, honestly for the first two days everything was fine. However on the third day I was meeting with an existing client. This client was a difficult to please customer, he would always say we weren't worth the money, but I knew we were cause I could see his results, and over the years this client's business had grown a lot. Said client would beat us up over pricing I'd stand firm, give him a 3% price increase, and offer him upgrades on top he'd haggle me down to a 1.5% price increase, and we'd sign the contract. Now I told the VP what would happen, that it would be a long sales call, and a difficult high tense one. But to let me handle it, I've dealt with the client quite a bit, and was well prepared. Now this meeting with the client lasted two and one half hours, but I'll get to the point. The client wanted a discount, and was threatening to go to our competitor, he wouldn't. That's when the VP spoke up, and said I'm the VP, and I'll personally give you a 15% discount on your current plan, if you agree to sign a 1 year contract the customer said 20% the VP said, spilt the difference 17.5% and we have a deal they agreed I was mad as hell. One thing to mention my commissions depended on me generating more revenue and this VP just fucked me over. We get in my car, and I go you pulled rank you shouldn't have done, that he said I got the deal done I said, had you kept your mouth shut I'd have gotten more money, not given 20% back he goes we got the contract signed I said we gave away tens of thousands of dollars, that we didn't need to he goes look I'm the VP. I then called my CEO, he saw the name pop up on my car's bluetooth. CEO answered. CEO, PJ, how are you doing? PJ, the VP pulled drank on me and gave my customer a 17.5% discount on his current plan right as I was about to close him for more money. CEO, that's not right, where is the VP? PJ, you're on speaker, he can hear you. CEO, excellent, hey VP. VP, yes sir. CEO, tell me what happened. VP, told his side of the story, which he admitted the truth but also admitted to pulling rank and giving the customer a discount. CEO, okay, thanks for your honesty. You're fired. VP, excuse me? CEO, you're fired, you have a one year probation clause you're done you don't pull rank when in the field. VP, you can't do this. CEO, I just did, you are to get on a plane come back to your office and clean it out. PJ take Mr. VP back to his hotel and drop him off. PJ, sure, no problem. And for the next 20 minutes I had an awkward car ride back to my former VP's hotel. Later in a all hands on meeting, the CEO made sure to talk about how, if an executive is in the field and pulls rank it's a fireable offense for the executive, and he wants all the sales reps, sales managers, customer service reps, and collection reps to know that. Side story on the CEO. The company had a data plan, which gave us 4G on our iPads phones, and laptops. Well the company changed the service plan, and our data plan went down to only our phones, and we had to hotspot off that. They said this move would save us $80,000 a month. We had like 4,000 employees in the field. Well two months later we had a conference, we had three conferences a year, and after the conference, everyone went to the hotel bar. That's when I approached my CEO with another sales rep and talked to him about how much of a pitter it was to hotspot all our devices and how much it drained our phone batteries and blah blah and that I get it saves money but it also costs predicity I. The CEO nodded and said tell you what, in two weeks the Shio is supposed to go in the field, I'll have him to go in the field with you and if he agrees that it's costing our apps productivity and causing too many workflow issues I'll bring back 4G data to all devices. The Shio was there and said Shio, you're going to this area and you will be riding with PJ, pay attention to how he uses his 4G data and if you think we should go back to the old plan where all devices had 4G. The Shio went into the field with me, on the third day at breakfast he said last night I called the CEO, and I said yay, and he said I made a recommendation, that we go back to our old data plan, and ensure all your devices have 4G data, it's obviously creating productivity issues, and when you look at the cost per user, it's not that great fact. Do you still work there? If so why not? 
no I do not work there I was much better at maintaining and growing existing clients than acquiring new ones. The company ended up buying another company and started laying people off and made acquiring new business more important than maintaining the current business meaning I was going be let go so I quit and switched jobs before Ethy fired me. Sounds like a great seer slash he's what I wish all CEOs would be comments. He's still a ruthless business person. I'll give you an example of what he did to a lot of managers. When he bought out his competitor, he had a lot of redundancy and a lot of managers on rock solid employment contracts which he couldn't just lay off. So he took the managers with those contracts and turned them into phone reps. Imagine being a sales manager or even a VP and getting a call and being told you are no longer a manager or a VP and you're demoted. Not even an outside sales rep, but an inside phone rep. Those managers obviously didn't perform very well after being demoted and would be written up for poor performance and let go. I know of a VP in the company who was demoted to a phone rep position and literally got written up for poor performance for his first month. Oh and he was still getting his VP salary for the contract. They could change his position slash duties but they could not pay him less and the only way they could fire him would be through poor performance. Also another thing he did. He invested a lot in automation during this time, so he could lay off even more people. I had a talk with my manager one day, and he said the CEO was obsessed with revenue slash per employee number, and was determined to drive that number up. I want to work for them, can give me the company name slash etc. No, for two reasons. First reason, the company is currently not hiring, and actively laying people off. Their primary revenue comes from small and medium sized businesses. As you can imagine due to the economic circumstance those small businesses can no longer afford to pay their bills, which includes my former employer. As a result, they've had to downsize. I'm sure the company will survive. They had crazy healthy margins, and I heard right before the economic downfall they had a lot of cash on hand for another acquisition of some competitors which they didn't go through with cause I bet they are using that cash to survive. Secondly, I don't want to be darksked. What's my opinion of the CEO? Honestly nothing but fucking respect. The dude is inspiring. He is also not someone I would not want to be, he's an obvious work alcoholic, his personal net worth is an excess of dollar sign 100 plus million, and he doesn't need to work ever again, but according to all the VPS slash managers I spoke to the dude literally works 7 days a week at all hours of the day. Put it this way, he travels so much in his biggest markets he keeps a car that he bought, since it's cheaper than buying a rental every time he flies in. What did I take away from my time with them? Honestly, I think a lot of companies could learn a lot from this company. Seriously why more companies don't force their top leadership to work within the ranks on a regular basis is beyond me. It's one gripe I have with my current employer. This is how he reduced his sales staff. When he bought out the competitor he removed all sales objectives. He then made maintaining current slash growing current client worth 1x he made acquiring new clients worth 5x. Also losing revenue cost you 1.5x everyone was ranked against everyone and he placed everyone in quadrants. If you fell in the bottom 25% for 2 months in a row you got laid off. And this created for some interesting results. Example I had a family emergency. I took off for 1 week. For that one week I did zero dollars in business however, because people who were ranked above me lost revenue I rose in ranking. And the first week I came back I closed on a new business, increased revenue, and fell in rank, because others around me did more. It created for some depressing performance reviews, a co-worker of mine closed decent sized new business, and he thought for sure that would save his job. It didn't, because another person sold more than he did, and it kept him in the bottom 25%, and he was fired. Thursday evening he was so excited about his new account, thinking it saved his job. Friday afternoon he let go, 